All right, everyone, here we go. We're starting a little Friday tradition here when I can. This is one quick, just like last week, this is one quick card for each sign. I'm gonna throw it. It's before the weekly reading. It's just your soulmate energies in general, what's incoming, what's your person thinking and feeling. We'll do one quick card for each sign. Watch all 12, watch everything in your sign. It forms the full picture of the soulmate cycle. It's not a, it's not a long video, no need to be impatient. I'm asking the universe what's going on with the soulmate cycle right now. Doing a flyover, give me one quick card for each sign. I'll tell you what I get. Watch everything that's in your chart. And uh, <clears throat> at the end, I'll throw uh, some overall energy just to get an idea. Here we go. This went over pretty good when we did the first one last week. So we'll see how we do here. Let's see what we got here. All right. One quick card for each sign. I'm being encouraged to cut. Mm hmm. The sun before the cut, that's communication. It's happiness. What comes after happiness and communication? The ten of cups. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, this is, you know, near future energy, so who knows? So let's see what we got. One quick card for each sign. Give me a shuffle here. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on with the soulmate cycle universe? Oh my God, after all that shuffling, the sun came back to the bottom. This is a repeating message. It's extremely important. It is the clarifier of the whole reading or the uh, overall energy of the whole reading. Underneath it, fueling it is a fool. I told you tomorrow's weekly reading that I'm going to do is going to be pretty, well, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be a busy week next week here at Steve's Love Tarot. I'll tell you what. You ready? You ready here? Here we go. Can we see the sun? There it is. All right, Aries. You ready? Aries. Yep. Uh, remember, the whole reading's clarifying the sun here. Somebody is uh, on the edge. They're just about they're right there on, on the edge. The soulmate wants to come in and somebody wants to do something. They're about to take action one way or another. Okay. Taurus. The world. A cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. However, the energy I get off of this from the incoming is that they're trying to figure something out. I don't know what that means. I'm not clarifying here. Maybe we'll find out more in tomorrow's weekly card poll. Okay? Uh, Gemini. Ace of Swords. Mm. Somebody wants to talk to you, Gemini. Somebody wants to straighten something out. Mm, that's what I get. They've realized some things and they want to straighten something out. Okay. All right. Here's happiness right here. It's the sun. It's the overall energy. It was a repeating message. And the fool underneath it. Cancer. Come on out from under the table. It's the magician. <laughs> well, uh, somebody's waiting for the right moment. I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll find out more. But I think a little bit of a cure for cancer today is kind of bleeding into this. Somebody, you know, again, they're, they're in and out. This is an in moment. They were out. Now they're in and they're going to be out again. I don't know. We'll have to see your weekly. Leo, Six of Swords. Somebody wants to, it's very similar to the message over here with uh, the, the world card. Somebody wants to uh, smooth things out, smooth things over. Somebody wants to make something right, apologize, make amends. I don't know. I'm not clarifying. But okay. Look at the cards around your card. It'll help you. you get three of Wands, World. Right here, uh, Virgo, the Nine of Wands. Somebody's just fucking stubborn as shit. Uh, somebody will not let you go. Okay, that's what I get. Libra, they, they won't let you go. Ten of Wands, somebody about to snap. And I see it, it's, it's got matching energy here with Gemini, the Ace of Swords. Somebody, somebody's about to snap. They're at a snapping point, they're at a breaking point, and, this, and they're going to snap their ass back to the Ace of Wands. That's what I'm getting off of that. It's a snapping point. I don't know. Maybe they snap and they just check into the uh, loony band. I have no idea. I'm not clarifying. Uh, what is the, uh, the Scorpio? Seven of Wands. Uh, somebody does want to talk to you. Somebody feels like, well, mm, ah, ah, it's bouncing off that Ten of Wands energy that's next to it. It's not bouncing off the Magician. It's bouncing off of here. Um, somebody's worried about talking to you. Somebody feels like you've got the high ground. They don't have the high ground. You've got the high ground. That's what I get off that. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm not clarifying. Find out more in tomorrow's weekend reading, maybe, and any energy updates I do. Okay. Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. 
again it's bleeding into this card you could see the colors uh it, it, some so, you got an energy slowly coming towards you slowly but surely it's coming towards you but it's wasting a lot of time on the way i get i don't always get this with the knight of pentacles i get a lot of overthinking because he got a lot of time to think he's walking real slow got a race horse this asshole needs to get on the horse and he's not on the horse um wasting a lot of time but coming towards you very slowly almost there too almost capricorn five of pentacles somebody out in the cold somebody fixing to come out of the cold they won't let you go it is not only touching this card the energy off of this card is bouncing off of here and the magician okay i'm just telling you how i feel it that's how i feel it here they won't let you go and they're waiting for uh, the right moment same as cancer's person to come out from out of the cold she knows the keys there i know i i don't know maybe they're trying to get the nerve up too i might get a strength card on that who knows uh aquarius emperor uh, stuck aquarius your person is still burger kinging it up man they're still eating burger king they want to come in and talk to you but they also want you to come to them sitting here in the chair holding the vibrator come to me come on over here i'll take care of you you know, why don't you come over here, asshole? Come on over my way. I don't. That's all I'm getting. I'm getting stubborn. I am. Hmm. It's not bouncing off any cards here, really, that I could see. Uh, Pisces, King of Swords. Wow. Major bounce off of Leo's energy. Major bounce off of Leo's energy. Somebody wants to set the record straight. Come in, talk to you. Get things. Make things right. They, they want to speak, speak some truth and they want to speak it big time. He's surrounded by birds. They've had an epiphany. Um, it's, you know, uh, yeah, somebody wants to talk to you. That's what I get. And it's feedbacking off of Leo's energy. That doesn't surprise me because Pisces, like I always tell you, you got yourself wrapped up in the Cancer Leo hot spot of the connection cycle for some reason. I don't know how that happened. Whoa, I'm, I'm moving cameras here. Hold on. What is happening here? What is going on? Oh my God, I'm kicking stuff. The Hierophant fell on the floor, by the way. Um, so I don't know who that's for. Could be for Pisces. I don't know. I was shuffling the deck for the overall energy. Give me three cards of overall energy here. Jesus, what the hell is going on here? All kinds of stuff happening today. Weird energies today. All right, here we go. Give me three cards. Overall energy here. What is it? Give me the overall energy. Whoa. How do we... We'll let the universe add up the soulmate cycle and give us three cards. You know? Why not? Okay. One, Ace of Wands, two, Seven of Cups, and three, King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. Somebody, all of you, adding up the whole soulmate cycle. The soulmate cycle right now is sitting as our pooping girl. It's crossing the Seven of Cups. Somebody, again, it's very similar, I said, with cancer. Somebody's waiting for the right time. Somebody's not sure. Somebody's not letting go over here with, with uh, Virgo, etc., etc. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody's the Burger King. Somebody's out in the cold. Somebody's about to do something. Somebody wants to make things right. It's all here. The Seven of Cups, they know to pick the red one. They know to pick the red one, but they're worried. They're worried because they didn't pick it before. All right. They want a new beginning and they see the stability. It's scary to come toward the real deal. Something that they know would be real. The King of Pentacles. A lot of stability. What the, what the, what the universe is basically saying here, there's a lot of happiness. There's, these connections are all made, for the most part, of happiness. There's a lot of it here. And somebody needs to, the universe is saying, somebody needs to make a decision. Pick the red one, right? The red, the rain, the red rainbow here. It's not even a rainbow. It's mostly just red. Pick the red one for a new beginning and stability comes. But somebody, we got a little bit of fear here with this card. Somebody, eh, I don't know. I rejected them before. Somebody's afraid of getting rejected kind of a thing. Being rejected by you is unacceptable. And it's not because of their arrogance, although Aquarius, I question that here with the Emperor. It's mostly because you're the real deal. You're the King of Pentacles. Male or female, this connection, they know, represents a lot of stability for them. And they're going to have to, for, in a lot of cases, I feel it in the energy, it's not really reflected in the cards, but they might have to give something up on their side 
to come toward you. Okay, so there's a lot of fear here, but this is where the energies sit right now. Tomorrow I'm going to pull the weekly card poll, similar, but I do two clarifiers on each card. So we'll find out where we go from there and then where the energy updates for the week go from there. All right, we'll see what we got. We'll see where we're going. All right, that's, that's one quick card for each sign and some bottom card shit. All right, there you go. Good luck, everyone.